What is up guys, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Welcome to the shit show. Oh wait, actually, to be technical, we're not getting too shitty today. We're getting titty. <laughs> Welcome to the titty show. So I am back at it again doing a boob job update. Some of you, a lot of you, enough of you have recommended this. I know you guys love seeing my progress videos on things that I've get done that I've get done. Okay, wow, well, English is not one of those. So you guys know how these videos go with, what am I saying? So you guys know how these videos goes, go. Just, it's, okay. So you guys know how these video goes. Okay, so you guys know how these videos go. Nothing crazy is going on today. I'm just gonna be answering a bunch of questions that you guys asked me off of Instagram, as well as YouTube community page. So if you didn't get your chance to answer, maybe you should have on notifications so you know whenever I post things for you guys. Just saying. I'm also kidding, so chill. It's fine, I love you, stop. We're gonna be okay. Listen, it was a one-time thing and I'm not mad, like at all. Only a little bit, but it's gonna be fine. I'll just do some crack and we'll be okay. Where's my fucking phone? That's the, like the, I need that for the entire video. Alexa, call my phone. Whose phone should I call? Queen or Samuel? Queen. Calling Queen. my closet? She calling like that? Oh. Hello? Hello? You're an ugly cunt. You're an ugly cunt. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, obviously, because I'm having a hard time. <coughs> what the f- don't take me yet, please. So my height is 5'7", or like 5'7 and a half, I think. My weight is about 123 pounds, or close to 56 kilos. Before I got my boobs done, I was a 34C. But I think that's it for the measurements. I think all you really need to know is my height and weight, question mark. If anything else, and I'll put like a pinned comment for it, but all that info will be on the screen. Did you get any stretch marks from having a boob job? I've always wondered how the skin can stretch so much so suddenly without getting stretch marks when I literally got stretch marks from growing so slowly over time. Girl, I feel you 100%. I have stretch marks on my side. I'll show you guys. Right here, can you see that? I have stretch marks just from whenever I gained like high school weight and just puberty, like growing up. I have stretch marks. I have stretch marks on my inner thighs. It's life, like you're gonna, your body is just like that. It's kind of weird because like you just said, the boob thing, I didn't get stretch marks from this, which is weird because I got stretch marks. I see what you're saying. I think the difference for me is I kind of already had some stretch marks on my boobs because whenever I was 17, 18, I had giant tits and then I lost them and then I got a boob job. So my stretch marks were already there from losing and gaining weight. I guess the answer to your question is everybody's different, but honestly, a lot of people don't get stretch marks from boob jobs. I know a ton of girls my age that have breast augmentations and none of them have stretch marks. I feel like it's because your boobs are so fatty already that they just can expand, you know what I'm saying? Samantha Smith asked, do you still wish you would have gone bigger? Some days, yeah, and some days, no. I feel like if I did go bigger, it would not look natural at all, and where I am now, I look like I don't even have a boob job. I can't count how many people look at me and they're like, oh, I forgot you got your tits done because they just look so natural. I'm definitely glad I decided to size up from 320 to 350, though, because if I would have gone with my doctor's recommendation of 320, I would have definitely gone back and gotten them redone. I feel like this fits me so perfect, and like I said, it's so natural. So I like where I am, but like for funsies, I honestly could go bigger, but probably not. Have they dropped all the way? I honestly think so. And whenever I went in for my month checkup appointment, my doctor said that my boobs had dropped way faster than they had usually seen and that they were almost dropped all the way. So I would assume at six months, if she said that at one month, then yeah, they are dropped all the way. Did they go down in size more than I expected? Kind of, but not in like a sizing way, in like a placement way. When you got your... when I, you. <laughs> when I got my baby son, they, okay, this is gonna be kind of weird, but I kind of have to do this. Here we go. When I got them done, if you remember, they were first off square and up here, and now they're just like naturally placed, you know? I see a lot of girls that have fake boobs that are super up high, and I almost like kind of want that, but then again, I love the natural look of being able to not really tell that I have fake boobs. What's weird is they actually look smaller. You're not gonna be able to tell they look smaller in my other two breast augmentation videos, but when I was naked, the way they looked healing, they did not look like they were gonna be this big at all. I'll say that. Nicole said, are you scared by all the horror stories? Are you worried what will happen five years down the road? 
Not really. The guy that I went to was the number one guy to go to in a big surrounding area of mine. I've done a lot of research on breast implant illness. It's very rare and it happens with the way you take care of them and how you treat them. Mainly, do your research is what I'm going to say. Like if you're scared and that's your concern, get your freaking boobs done. I mean, it's just, you can literally get cancer from household chemicals that you use. Any, like, Kraft macaroni and cheese, bitch. I don't know. I'm just, I live life by just living it. Amanda said, what was the total cost? I don't remember the exact total cost. That's actually in my other two videos, but I think it was around 5,500 or close to 6,000. I'm not sure, but in that range. Would you get them retouched? How difficult is it to find shirts? If you mean like redone, I would get them redone down the road whenever I have kids and they get like all, you know, like that situation. But my mom has had her breast implants for 22, three years and hers still look perfect. I really don't think I'm gonna get them redone for another 10 years probably but we'll see it's not difficult to find a shirt at all like at all I can kind of tell by what type of shirt it is if I need to size up in 80% of the time I don't need to find a size up my sizing from six months ago to now really has not changed at all I've always kind of strayed between a small and a medium if you could go back would you still get it done girl night before surgery bawling my eyes out I want to be natural I don't want to get fake boobies everyone's gonna call me fake I am so glad that I shut my crybaby ass up because I am over the moon about how this went. I can't imagine not having fake boobs and that sounds kind of stupid. I loved my natural boobs. They had a nice like fluffy teardrop natural look to them. For my body type, I feel like I really needed a lot more fullness and I just, again, preference, I liked it. So I would still go and get it done, yes. Madison asked, are you doing anything different now that you weren't able to do slash were able to do before the boob job that you can slash can't do now. I haven't tried to do a push-up really in the six months, but I never honestly ever try to do those anyways. Like, who is just like, oh my god, push-up time, bitch. No, crackhead. So I would say your workout routine, if you work out, is going to be set back a little bit, which is the only thing that I hated about this whole entire process. Literally, I honestly thought the surgery and like healing process was fun. Being in pain and like seeing your body transform was so fun to me in like a non cynical way. Please don't call this psych hospital. But honestly, it was a pretty enjoyable experience. And the only difference was the working out stuff. Like I had to go a lot slower back into it. It took me about two to three months to really get back to where I was with lower body. And then it took me to about my five, six month mark to do the upper body stuff that I used to do. And I'm still, am not, like, I don't even want to try to do a pull up because I try to like lift 40 pounds above my head and I can like feel my, and it did not, I, mm, it was scary. So I haven't really messed with it. I kind of just like do 30 pounds, 20 pounds. I don't really rep out. We're still working on it. It's only been six months, so I'm really, this is normal. Amanda said, do they get really stiff or do they stay pretty much natural? Been wanting one, but don't want to end up with rock hard boobs. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you, I've had a lot of my friends feel my boobs and everyone says they feel completely natural. No stiffness at all. I mean, for the first like month, month and a half, it's gonna be a little, weird. After that, they literally feel almost better than real boobs. Anyone that has fake boobs, if I have anyone that has them, comment down below and tell me if you feel like your boobs feel better than real ones because, oh my god, these things are awesome. Would you recommend a boob job to someone who's been considering it for years? If yes, do you have any tips? I would recommend it if you're in the same boat as me and you just want your body to be proportionate and you just want to do it for you and not for somebody else. And all the tips that you need to know are going to be in my other two videos. I'll have all of it linked down below so if you haven't seen my other two breast augmentation videos go watch those because I've filled those with information what kind of implants did you get I got moderate profile silicone did it cause any health issues slash discomfort no no health issues or discomfort I haven't gotten sick at all since I gotten them just to throw that out there do you regret anything about them size where they were implanted through etc no I literally love everything about them is there anything you've experienced about the boob job that you wish somebody had warned you about ahead of time I I think the nipple numbness thing was the big thing that I had no idea was gonna happen because whenever I got out of surgery and like three weeks went by and I could not feel my nipples or let's just say four months went by and I couldn't feel my nipples 
I started to freak the fuck out. That's what I definitely wish somebody would have told me. What size do you measure at? I am now a 34D. I'm gonna show you guys me in my bra once I get it to the end because I'm a 34D right now, but that was as of one month and I kind of want to again talk about my size but at the end. How long did it take for them to settle and do you think they're settled now? Yes, I believe they're settled. For me, the settling came at about three, four months mainly and they're fully dropped now at six months. Again, it's different for everybody. Some some people don't fully drop until a year. Do you still wear the same size shirts? Yes, I answered that a second ago. And for example, like this shirt is a size small and I could go up and get a medium. Like you see, it's still loose here, but it's definitely really tight around my boobs and it makes them explode. You know, for like a sexy night, maybe wear this, but I also could get a medium for a relaxed night where I don't want my boobs to be popping out, you know? I kind of just go off of like what type of shirt it is pretty much, except for swimsuits. I forgot to mention that a second ago, but swimsuits, I almost 90% cannot wear a size small in at all. My boobs literally just flood out of it. Did you notice the difference in the shape? Yes, completely. That's the biggest reason I got my boobs done because I had a natural fluffy teardrop shape, but I wanted it to be more of a round shape. Sorry. You'll see in the comparison from before I got them done to now, way different. How long after did you start working out? Probably less than a month, but only body weight exercises and like 10 pounds and all legs, no upper body. I didn't even do upper body for probably two and a half to three months. I didn't even mess with it. I wanted everything to fully heal, but my doctor cleared me to do small exercises at a month. So I don't know, I guess it just depends on what you want to do and how slow you want to take it. But I took it pretty slow, but I haven't gotten my full mobility back in my upper body yet. And it's been six months so just keep that in mind do you slash other people think they look real and natural yes i haven't had one person that i've told that i've gotten a boob job tell me they look like fake tits everyone says they look natural would you recommend under or above the muscle under for sure 1000 percent. i know i would not go over the muscle i think they turned out really well through the process looking smoking hot oh you're so you guys are so nice to me it makes me want to friggin cry what was recovery like again go watch the other videos i don't have time to talk about that in this one i'm sorry i love you but i just can't do it does any insurance cover anything? Does it cover medications? No. Did you pay in full for the surgery? Was there a copay or out of pocket pay? So whenever you go and get your consultation and get your photos done, at least in my experience, during the photo process, you pay $500 to get the photos done. And that sets in a date for you and that puts $500 towards your procedure. But then you have up until like two weeks before your surgery date to pay. And there's no copay because that it has nothing to do with insurance. <laughs> Is there permanent scarring? If so, how much? I wouldn't call it permanent. Like once you see mine, you'll see what I'm talking about, but it's like nothing at all. Would you ever get them pierced now that they're what you want? No, I don't know why, but I'm not into the whole nipple piercing thing. I don't know. It's just not my, not my vibe, you know? <laughs> I love the look of like a clean boob. I just think it's so cute and like, you know? I don't know. Does it hurt when they're bouncing? No, I've gone on the treadmill with them and it feels like nothing. What differences have you noticed in your confidence and does anyone treat you different? Oh my God, that's so funny because yeah. <laughs> so my confidence has definitely gone up because I've always wanted, even when I was younger, I used to stick freaking balloons in my shirt like we all did, I'm sure. And I would walk around with huge fake boobies. Well, they were balloons, but you know, my fake boobies. I've always loved big boobs. I've always wanted big boobs. I'm decently tall and I feel like it just, like I've said, fits my body and as soon as I go got my body to look the way I've always imagined it. It really just, I feel like me. So it definitely boosted my confidence a ton. And does anyone treat me different? Um, so some people are nice to me because they're like, oh my God, I love your fake boobs. Like, they're so awesome. And then there's some people that are more rude to me. Well, they're like, give me side eye if I'm wearing shirts that my boobs are spilling out in. Not even spilling out in, but if this shirt was like this, because they're like, you know, there. Some women, like her boobs are, but it's because they have small tits and they're not showing. And it's always the people that want, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be rude and catty, but I'm being honest because prior to my surgery, these girls weren't looking at me this way. And now whenever I walk past them in the same outfit, they're like, I don't fuck with you. You little stupid ass bitch. I ain't fucking with you. How does it feel to sleep or if you can sleep on your stomach with them? The weird thing is I sleep more on my stomach now than I did before. It almost is so comfy to use them as a pillow. 
I will say though, to be honest, I find it kind of uncomfortable to sleep on my side. Not if I wear a sports bra to sleep, which I prefer to do some like 50% of the time because I feel like it helps keep them in place. That might just be like a conspiracy theory that I made up in my own head, but we're going with it. But my favorite position to sleep in is on my stomach with fake tits. The least favorite's the side. And you'll be able to tell if you have fake boobs, it just feels like weight. <laughs> is just on your like chest. And then the back, I've never been a back sleeper, so I can't really speak for that, but I don't like that either. Was it hard adjusting to having bigger slash smaller boobs? No, it was actually easier because I could actually fit into low cut things that were meant for not like big chested girls, but just girls that were filled out. And my boobs filled me out, but not for like things that I wanted to wear, you know? But I never wear a freaking bra, dude. I'll go to Walmart in a t-shirt, no bra on, because my boobs are just up, they're sitting, they're just like, hey. It's a good time, like I love it. It's honestly been better for me <laughs> in the weirdest way possible. Any nerve pain or damage? I'm four months post-op and still do. Went to same surgery center. <gasps> Girl, okay, sweet. This is a good question since you went to the same exact place I went to. That's kind of crazy. What the fuck? So I guess since somebody else is already asking this, we'll go ahead and talk about the nipple numbness thing. I don't have any anymore. What the fuck is up, Kyle? Probably about the four month mark is when I started to freak out. Because of the four month mark, I had feeling in this nipple, but almost none in this. But around five, five and a half, and now really at six, I have full feeling in both my nipples and I can feel it again the way I wanna feel it. I know that sounds super weird, but you know, ladies, you understand? I know it's literally terrifying because it's your freaking, your nipples, dude. You wanna feel that and that shit feels good. It's gonna come back, I promise. Be patient. If you're doing your exercises and you're following all the rules, I promise you'll be fine. How long did it take for the square shape to settle? I think in my one month video, they were still really square. I would say about three, four months, they really lost the squareness, but probably even before that. If you really wanna follow the boob journey, I would posted a lot of swimsuit photos this summer, so you can probably go look at my Instagram and like see kind of how they work. I'm seeing a lot of questions about people that are either about to get them done or asking about recovery because they have just gotten them done. Go watch my first two breast augmentation videos. Everything you want to know is going to be in there. How long did you debate it before you went through with it? Probably about two years is whenever I really started thinking about it. And then about a year ago exactly, I went and got my photos taken and I made an appointment for six months after that and I gave myself that six month gap to really decide if I wanted to do it. I would definitely 1000% do all your research, watch all the videos that you can figure out your sizing for your body and your weight. It's a big deal and you don't want to end up unhappy, so please do your research and really take the time to process what you're doing. How long did it take you to get used to them? The first week you could feel them because the pain and they were settling, but after one month, you couldn't even tell that you had a boob job. It was so insane. This is bad. But I would forget to do my exercises for my tits because I forgot that I got them done. Were you put on a strict diet before surgery? Not at all. You literally just can't eat past midnight. Did you take any painkillers and how often? I was prescribed something again it's in the other videos but I took it for the first four days or three days but I didn't really take any painkillers after that and then I only took them for bed and like midday how did it feel I want to get a reduction I've been a 38 double D since sixth grade oh my goodness girl are you okay I'm sure you're back oh I can't even imagine mm, you poor thing if you've had a 38 double D since sixth grade and it is causing you like back problems and you feel like you don't look proportionate I would highly suggest getting a reduction and a lift if you needed one I'm, I'm not sure what you're situation is. Not that you need it. I hate, oh, I don't like people asking me these questions because it makes me feel like I'm telling them to do something to their body. Why do you guys put me in this situation? I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I think that if you're hurting from your ginormous boobies, that a boob job would be fun for you, I guess. Uh, stop asking me these hard questions. Britt said, okay, but nipple pain slash sensitivity, mine's going on four weeks and I'm in pain. I wasn't ever really in pain from the nipples in the weirdest way. Oh, wait. Bitch, I know what you're talking about. I did have that pain. You would literally be sitting in bed and then all of a sudden your nipple would feel like, I know what you're talking about. It'll go away. <laughs> Think of it like this. If you're feeling that, that's good because whenever you get your boobs done, you're stretching nerves out and you're not damaging them, but I'm also not a doctor, so I don't really know what I'm saying. Feeling that's kind of a good thing. It means that your nerves are working and they're trying to get back to where they were. Is it true you have to get them done every 10 years? That's so spooky if you do. Uh, uh, whoa, you don't have to. Like I said earlier, my mom's had hers for 23 years. They look great and she might not even ever get them redone again. It's really a personal preference. If you want to get them, lifted or reduced or bigger and lifted down the line you can but no was the recovery long or painful 
no literally not at all i feel like it's so dramatized like i don't know why or if people just don't have high pain tolerances but it's not bad at all breaking up with my 16 year old boyfriend hurt a lot worse than the surgery okay are they more holdable oh freak yeah dude they fit perfect and like and then some you know like they oh it's so good. Would you have anything else done? I really don't know if I would get anything else done. I don't want to say that because if I post a video down the line, I'm like, I morphed my whole body. Someone's going to be like, you told us that you weren't going to do that. But I will say the person that did my like Invisalign did them really wrong. And so something is like, I have things wrong with my teeth that I would get veneers in, like the first like few of my teeth. But again, not even necessary. I hate my nose, but really it's not a bit Everyone hates their freaking nose. So honestly, probably not. No question. Just love that you're so open about it. That's so important. Your titties look bomb. Um, thank you, girl. I love you. And hell yeah. Like, what's the point? Like, I love Kylie Jenner, but why would you Kylie Jenner everybody and act like you haven't had something done? Oh my god, this is my biggest thing. If the the I almost call them the Kylies. If they were to come out about what they've gotten done and share their experience and like the before and afters, oh my god, the amount of attention it would get. And why, like, why hide it? What's the point in telling people? like to love themselves and da, 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 da. but you've changed your whole entire body like well okay I tell people to love themselves too but the difference is I'm open about the things I don't love about myself obviously you know what I'm saying I don't know if that makes sense but how bad was waking up from surgery I'm getting mine done December 17th and I'm scared when I woke up from surgery I was so out of it I remember seeing the nurse and just staring at her and us making eye contact like this for a while and then me just like passing back out but then I just went home I took a painkiller I slept for two hours and and then I went out to lunch. I got done with surgery at 8 a.m. and I was out at the mall at noon. You probably shouldn't do that, but what I'm saying is it's not that bad. <laughs> okay, so we finally finished all the questions and now it's time to show you guys the transformation of before, one month, and six months of my boobs. Okay, so I'm literally about to upload this in an hour and I completely forgot to show you my scarring somehow and ignore the BP oil spill going on in my body. So I'm six months out and this is what my scarring looks like. I feel like you honestly can't even really see it from far away. Up close you can tell it's a little bit darker. This scar went from right here to right here but now it just has that one little spot and again from far away you can't even really tell. And then for this one it's a little bit darker because this scar was harder to heal anyways but this one went from here to here and you can see it barely there. Honestly pretty happy with how they turned out considering I haven't even ever put on scar cream or any treatment. I've just kind of let them heal by themselves, which most people don't do, I feel like. So if you're putting on scar cream, they're probably going to heal faster than this. But this is mine at six months. And I'm guessing they'll be healed up by like eight, maybe. But yeah, sorry, I forgot to put that in there. My bad. I'll show you this top first since it's what I have on. It's just a basic gray tank top. And this is me in a regular bra with zero padding. Like no padding, no push-up. It's a basic t-shirt bra. And you can see they sit up really nicely in it. I've actually learned through the breast augmentation process that I can't wear a bombshell. I know every chick has probably tried a bombshell before. I've never bought one, worn one in my life, and I went to go try one on after I got, which makes no sense. I got my boobs done, and then I went to try on a bombshell. And it just makes my boobs look way too fake. So the only bras that I like to wear are the no padded ones. I feel like they look the most natural in my body. So here we are, no padding, basic bra, and a basic tank. And now, this is gonna get a little bit weird, but I'm gonna take off my shirt and show you my bra. So here we are, this is a Victoria's Secret t-shirt bra. And as you can see, this is just how my boobs sit. Very nice and natural. That like honestly kind of looks a little bit tight. That's why I said earlier I'm a 34D, but I'm also kind of not sure about my size. Because if I were to put a push-up bra on, uh-uh, I would need to go a size up. Okay, so this is the top I've been showing you guys for comparisons of my boobs each time I do a breast update. But this is no bra. You can see we have side boob and lovely curvature here. And they sit up really well. And I could even still wear a bra and get a nice, like, lift and push and make them even look bigger. But this is what they look like natural. Nothing under here. I'm not wearing a bra. Nothing going on. And you can see they're squeezable. They're huggable. They're lovable. They're great. Okay, this is one of the bikinis I've been trying on for y'all. It is it's like a basic just across the way not a triangle bikini you can see they sit pretty well in this for my preference though I do think they got a little bit bigger and that this is too tight of a swimsuit for me just because it folds under my boobs right here so I can tell my boobs are like choking on it under the bottom and then up top you can see it's like pushing them out which ladies pointers if your top is cutting your chest off like this, 
it's a little too tight. Okay, and this is the last top I've been showing you guys. Again, kind of think I need to size up because it fits in like a, I want my tits to show to everybody way. But from a conservative way, my nipples are about to fall out, so. But this is what it looks like, you can see in comparison. They're so just like fun, you know? And they're, I feel like a lot bigger and way more round, obviously. Not like too suffocating in this swimsuit, but just from a personal preference, could probably go a size up. Yeah, like I don't like the spillage right here. That's just not cute, honey. But yeah, these are my boobs and they're fake and it's been six months. Fake titty gang. But that is it for this video, finally. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I answered everything. I hope I showed you enough. If you need anything else, if you have any more questions, leave it down below. I will be like a crackhead answering everything that's down there, I promise you. But that's all I have for you today. Sorry we didn't get crazy, but trust me, those videos are coming. We have to do a sit down video every once in a while, guys, okay? Chill out. But I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you in the next video.